Good morning, I'm with the Archbishop Martin Lea Boho from Burundi, the Archbishop of Burundi. Uh, welcome to Christian Aid Ireland. Thank you. And it's been lovely having you here all this week. Um, before you go, I would love to ask you a few questions that I think um, our staff and our supporters would, would love to know the answers to. Uh, the first one really is, what are the top issues, the top challenges that Burundi is facing at the moment? Uh, thank you for inviting me to come to Ireland just to share something about uh, what Christian Aid is doing in Burundi via the Anglican Church. And uh, <clears throat> I want to say that we are facing a lot of challenges, starting from uh, peace building. We need a sustainable peace for our country because the country has gone through so many ups and downs politically and uh, the political insta instability that we have been going through after independence have made the economy of the of the country uh, to decline and also has uh, caused some psychological traumas to people and uh, forcing other people into exile uh, in different years and uh, today we are uh, planning as church leaders uh, to accompany the repatriation and also to discuss with other church leaders and the government, other partners, how we can uh, now uh, build our peace, a peace, peace for Burundi and peace for the region. Uh, very soon we are having a forum of key church leaders in Arusha next week and uh, uh, we are going to make a recommendation of having a national uh, forum in Burundi where uh, so many church leaders will be present and we discuss how we can uh, accompany the government, how we can help the government uh, to recover, to build a sustainable peace for our society. Uh, this is the first challenge and uh, it's really touching my heart because I have been a refugee myself in 1996 and I don't want my people uh, to be called refugees again. When peace has been restored in the country, uh, they will be all welcome and they will be happily living in their own country. Mm -hmm. And other challenges aside from peace building? Well, besides peace building, you know, when we have gone through those conflicts, uh, the level of poverty has uh, gone high. And uh, we marry this vision of Christian aid of eradicate, eradicating poverty in the world. So I would say, okay, when you uh, Christian aid plan to eradicate poverty in the world, uh, please start from Burundi. And because this is a big challenge, uh, you know, when you see uh, families, vulnerable families who have to live from what they uh, plant from their crops, from their lands, and when the land is being reduced because of also another challenge, which is the population growth explosion, having over 65% under 45 years, having youth trend, and uh, the job or the market job is very low. So all these uh, combined together uh, make the country uh, to go deeply again in extreme poverty where some people even don't have one dollar to live per day. And also another challenge probably to get a response soon is the repatriation. Mm -hmm. We have had so many uh, people from Burundi, you know, fleeing to our neighbor countries and uh, we are happy that repatriation has started. But uh, the way they come back, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's touched our, our hearts as a resident of the, of the country or as a church leaders. So we wish every generous partner should accompany the Anglican Church to, you know, to support and accompany those repatriates to to go to their back to their villages and start a new way of living. Uh, this means we need to <clears throat> increase 
the productivity of, uh, of the food. In a way, we need a big program of food security because when people don't have enough to, to eat and to feed their families, you can't expect any development from them and of them. So uh, we appreciate an accompaniment of any generous partner in this matter of uh, food security. Well, the challenges are too many. We are now facing a challenge of gender-based violences in the country, starting from domestic violences, starting from uh, rapes in the primary and the secondary schools. Uh, last year only, it was recorded over 2,640 raped girls in a primary school and secondary school. This also, you know, they can lead to <coughs> the infection of HIV AIDS. Mm. So we are, have so many challenges and uh, the Anglican Church is called to, uh, to, to contribute in uh, different ways, using different means uh, towards facing and getting a response to those challenges. We thank uh, the Christian aid, both UK and Ireland for uh, their support. So Archbishop Mark, we've heard about the challenges um, that you face in Burundi. How do you match your faith with the challenges that Burundi faces and the challenges that the church faces in Burundi? Thank you for, for the question. I was fortunate to be born from a, a poor family. My dad had uh, procreated 13 children um, uh, to have passed away. We are remaining 11 and I were, I'm the only fortunate from this family to be, you know, to have such a position, both, both economically and socially. So uh, I have to take care of my eight children. You know, I had uh, followed my dad footsteps, which is, uh, I think, this time now, it, it would be a mistake. And uh, I'm supposed to pay school fees, private universities for my children, and uh, also support my brothers, my sisters, including my in-laws. Uh, which is a big financial burden upon me. So uh, with my faith, I think I would help people to shift from uh, uh, the situation I grew up in to a better, uh, I mean, to a better situation. Mm -hmm. That means if you support our children and our, mm -hmm. our mm -hmm. brothers and sisters to go to school, then they will have a better life because as Jesus Christ said, I have come so that they may have and have it abundantly. It's also the vision of Christian aid that, you know, Christian aid believes in life before death. I do believe also that we have to help our people to have a, a life before the eternal life that they are expecting to have in heaven. So my faith from the my poor background to the position that I am in now is that uh, I should use it in helping people to be transformed, to change their mindset and say, okay, we can't live anymore as our ancestors, our grandparents, as our parents used to live. So they have to, to marry the opportunities of, of, the, of today. In a way, I want to say that uh, uh, when you are in such a position, such a, uh, I mean, when you are, you, you are fortunate the way, probably the way I am, it's better that you think of the past, then you face the future. You help others to just remind, remind the past and face the future because we need to see our communities being transformed and having a bright future. That's, a, that's my hope. Thank you very much indeed. You're um, welcome. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here this week. Oh, thank you very much. And, it was uh, a pleasure too. We've we've worked you hard, but you've uh, you've done an excellent job. So thank you. Oh, thank you. I was I was not expecting that, but uh, <laughs> because you have well, because you said I did well, I'm proud of that. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.